Okay, wow, I literally can't open my eye. I literally can't open my eye. I'm freaking out. Three, two, one. I feel like we've shared everything now. If someone did this to me, I would literally run out without even paying. Beauty is pain. Beauty is pain. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. For today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, I am excited for this video. I am gonna be doing an at-home pamper day. And let me just tell you, we all deserve one of those. I'm talking to you right now. I'm starting off the video with zilch makeup on my face. Literally nothing done to my hair. It's greasy AF. I have literally just woken up. This is my hashtag just woke up face. And we're gonna transform this baby. I feel like with everything going on in the world, men Mental health and just your general well-being can definitely be really affected and I think it's really important to look after yourself and as superficial as that sounds I feel like when you feel good on the outside you also feel good on the inside so today's video is all about at-home pamper treatments that you can do yourself you don't have to go to the salon because let's be real a lot of the salons are still closed so today's video is very perfect for the times that we're living in right now and also why not just do pamper treatments at home anyway? I feel like it's such a good way to save money. So today's video is basically just gonna be me glowing up. I want you guys to also watch this video and get ready yourself. Have a pamper day, you deserve it. So I guess this is my official before look. Let's see how far we can take this transformation. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right guys, so I've just washed my face. I've cleansed it thoroughly. And I think the first step is definitely to apply a face mask. So the one I'll be using is this one right here. I'm just gonna apply this all over my face and I feel like every good pamper day starts off with a face mask. Oh this smells so good. Alright so my face mask is now on. This smells so good and I just know my skin is going to feel amazing afterwards but now whilst that's kind of doing its magic into my skin I'm going to remove some hair on my body. Let's be real we all have hair on our bodies and whether you want to remove it that's up to you. Personally I do like to remove my hair so we're just gonna do that together. So to remove my hair today, I'm actually gonna be using some Veet products. Now this part of the video is very kindly sponsored by Veet, which I'm very excited about. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the products that they offer for at home salon results. So the first product is the Wax Strips. This is for body and legs, and all of these products are amazing for sensitive skin. I personally have sensitive skin, so these are great for me. I'm gonna be using some of these today, and then also we have the face waxing strips. Now let's be real, we all get a little bit of um mustache, even if you wanna denial we all get one but this is great because you can just really easily remove it and because this is a cold wax strip it actually removes the hair for so much longer than it would if you shaved it and then the last wax strips we have are for the bikini and the underarm area which again I'll also be using these all right so I'm gonna start off with removing the hair off of my legs so I'm actually gonna use both of these products so you guys can see the different results of each one I think I'll start off with the wax strip so this is what the wax strip looks like in the packaging what you're supposed to do is you pull both of these apart so you actually get two in in one and then what you do is you apply this to your leg like so you're meant to pull your skin taut so that it adheres nicely and then you rub this onto your skin so that it nicely adheres to the hairs on your body and then three two one wow look at that do you know what that wasn't even too painful that was so good and look at all the hair <laughs> I feel like we've shared everything now. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the other side and I'll go a little bit higher this time. Just apply it in the same way. Three, two, one. <gasps> it works literally like magic. You can actually use the strips a few times until they become not sticky anymore. So I'm gonna go again. All right, so I've done my whole leg and it feels so silky smooth. Honestly, I'm so happy with using the wax strips because there's no razor bumps, no cuts. And honestly, it wasn't even that painful. Now, to finish off the leg, I'm gonna use this perfect finishing wipe just to remove any of the excess wax that may be left on my leg. I have quite a bit of it. So I'm just going to, you see that wax there? I'm just gonna remove it with the wipe and it comes off so easy. I'm actually gonna wax my armpits now. <laughs> I've gotta say, I've never waxed my armpits before. I've waxed my legs but never my armpits, so this is a first for me. So this is basically the same thing, it's just little wax strips, just like the ones for the body and legs, so I'm guessing we're just doing the same thing. We're gonna separate it. All right, so I'm just gonna pull my arm really tight, place the wax strip on, and then rub it. I'm a little bit nervous for this one. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ah, 
That one hurt a little bit more, but oh my god, look at all that hair. <laughs> That's hilarious, wow. All right, so here is how my armpit looks. Now that it's all finished, it's a little bit red, but that will go down. It actually wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. And honestly, the results are gonna last so much longer than they would if I just shave. All right, so now to get rid of the hair on my other leg, I'm gonna be using the cream. This is called the Silky Fresh Hair Removal Cream. This is for body and legs, and it's also for sensitive skin, which is great. So I've actually been using this cream since I was a teen. Now, I have had some really good times with this, but I have to say the formula and the smell of it has definitely come a long way since I first used it. It smells really nice now and there's definitely way less chemicals than there used to be. So I'm just going to apply this to my leg very roughly. Just give this a couple of minutes. I'm just going to spread the cream with the spatula on one side. It spreads really well actually. I actually really recommend using creams like this if you have a sensitive skin and if you struggle with like nips and cuts when you're shaving. When I was younger I used to shave a lot before I discovered the hair removal creams and I definitely feel like it's way better for my skin. I don't get those nips and cuts anymore and I used to get a lot of um, razor bumps and then like infections in the follicles which is not great. So using a cream like this is just a much more gentle way to remove body hair so I really really rate it. Also I have to say this is way more cost effective as well because going to a salon to get your hair removed is just a whole other thing. You've got to obviously dedicate a lot of time to it. Whereas this you can just do at home in your own time. You could even get ready whilst this is working its magic on your legs. So now that that's on my leg I will leave it on for about seven minutes and then I'll be back to remove it with the spatula. All right, so it's been seven minutes. I'm just about to take the cream off. So let's see how it works. Oh my God, look, there is literally no hair left behind. That's mental. <laughs> It's all here. This cream works so freaking well and honestly it doesn't hurt. It doesn't sting I didn't even have to do anything and look at that So I guess I'm just gonna take this off fully and then I'll show you guys the finished result All right, so here is how the finished leg looks not a single hair in sight. I'm so pleased I feel like whether you're more into the cream or you're more into the waxing They both perform equally as good. So it's whichever one you guys prefer But I guess now let's move on to the rest of the transformation All right guys, so I'm fresh out of the shower now and I've just got my little hair towel on I love these things. I'm just gonna dry my hair using my Dyson air wrap and I'm actually really excited to use this because I haven't showed you guys how this works yet. Okay, so what I usually do with my hair is I dry the roots first. So I'm just gonna use this attachment here and I'm just gonna dry my roots first and make sure that my middle parting stays in place. And now that my roots are somewhat dry, I'm gonna use this attachment to actually curl and dry my hair at the same time. All right guys, so my hair is now all curled and finished. I feel like I never put this much effort into my hair like ever, but I am totally feeling it. So now that my hair is all finished and I'm starting to feel a little bit more like a human, I'm just gonna pin it back around my face just to get it out of the way. And what I'm gonna try and attempt to do now is actually my very own at home lash lift. Wish me luck. So I actually got this lash lift kit on Amazon. I actually bought this because I've seen a load of people rave about it on YouTube. So I decided to get the same one. So this is what it looks like inside. I guess what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna really carefully read the instructions because this is no joke. We're gonna be putting some chemicals on these lashes, okay? So we're gonna make sure it's safe. Okay, so the very first thing it says to do is to use the step four cleanser to just remove any eye makeup or any oils and residue off of the lashes. So I am just gonna do that right now. Okay, the next thing it says to do is to put these little eye pads on underneath your eyes to protect your eyes and the skin underneath it. Okay, now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna have to do one eye at a time, but I feel like that will be better anyway because you guys will be able to see the before and after. So here are the eye pads. This is what they look like. There's actually quite a few of them. Okay, so what it's saying to do is to apply some eyelash glue that comes in the kit onto the iPad so that it can stick to your eyelid. I can just tell this is gonna be so uncomfortable and I won't be able to see, but that's okay, beauty is pain. Okay, we've got the glue on the iPad. I'm just gonna straight in apply this to my eyelid. Oh my God. You know what, that actually wasn't that difficult. I'm shook, I'm actually kind of shook. I thought this was gonna be so hard to stick on. Okay, wow, I literally can't open my eye. <laughs> I literally can't open my eye, I'm freaking out. That is stuck on, all right? This is as far as I can open my eye. 
I probably look, oh my God, it's making my eyes water already. The fact that I can't open my eye is making my eye water. How does that even make sense? Beauty is pain, beauty is pain. All right, so the next step is to literally use the lash glue and stick my lashes to this damn thing. I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. I'm kind of scared that my lashes will just all come off, but if it worked for other people, surely it's gonna work for me. And I'm just gonna use this little tool to stick my lashes to the glue. Do you know what, it's kind of working. I'm just gonna put this out there. My lashes are the straightest lashes you will ever see in your life. They're not too short, don't get me wrong, but they're just so damn straight. You can't even see them on my eye. All right guys, so this is what my lashes look like right now. I definitely have a lot more lashes than I thought I did. So now that my lashes are all stuck on, I'm gonna take the perm lotion and I'm gonna start applying this to my lashes. All right guys, so I finished applying the perm lotion on. I've also stuck on some of those pesky lashes that have been unsticking and now I guess it's just a waiting game of 10 minutes. So in 10 minutes, I'll be right back to show you guys the results. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. I'm now gonna remove this solution and the glue with this little brush that they have provided. That's what they say to do next. All right, fixing lotion, let's go. Let's apply this thing to the lashes. By the way, you are meant to put some like cling film over your eye when the perm lotion and the fixation lotion is on. However, I've run out of cling film, so I'm just gonna have to do it without. So this is now gonna stay on my eye for 10 minutes and I'll be right back. All right guys, I am back after 10 minutes and the last step now is to use the little cleanser. This should just start loosening up all that glue and the perm lotion and everything we've put on there. All right, I am just about to take the lift pad off my eyes. I'll are we ready? <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I really don't want to lose any of my lashes. So I'm gonna be really gentle. My lashes are all very much stuck together, but I'm already noticing a difference. Can you guys see this? Look at this eye compared to this eye. I'm actually amazed. My lashes are sticking up. This is genuinely a revelation. My lashes have never looked this good without anything on them. Look at the before and after. Oh my God, I actually have lashes. So I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side and I'm gonna be right back once my lashes are looking all fabulous. All right guys, so whilst my other eye is doing its thing I am gonna move on to the next step and I'm actually gonna wax my top lip today I'm gonna be using the facial wax strips from Veet this is actually soothing with almond oil and it's also cornflower scented so again it's the same thing as the other wax strips but just a tiny tiny version for your face this is what they look like three two one Ooh. dang that got rid of a lot of hair three two one Ooh. That was not that bad. All right, I've got to say, I'm actually really impressed with the facial strips. They actually work really well and they weren't actually that painful. It's just like the first initial shock when you rip it off, you think it's gonna hurt, but it actually doesn't hurt that bad. My top lip isn't even that red or anything. So I'm actually really happy. All of my peach fuzz is gone. Now peach fuzz definitely doesn't have to be removed for sure, but I personally like to remove it just because I feel like my foundation sits on my face a lot better. All right guys, so now that my lashes are fully lifted, I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. I feel like my eyebrows just need a little bit of TLC. They're not too overgrown or anything, but I'm thinking of actually laminating them at home. I have been meaning to try brow lamination for the longest time. Now, the only reason I am actually attempting this at home is because I have actually seen people use the exact same kit that I used for my lashes, but to do their brows. So because I feel like it definitely worked on my eyelashes, I might as well give it a go on my brows, right? So just like with the lashes, the first step I'm gonna do is actually glue the hairs down into the place that I want them to stay. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. I can't take myself seriously. I'm sorry. Why does my eyebrow literally look like Santa Claus's eyebrow? I honestly, I'm regretting my life decisions right now. Is this how it looks like in the salon initially? Because if someone did this to me, I would literally run out without even paying. All right guys, so here are my finished eyebrows. I've just filled them in a little bit around the sparse areas and honestly, I don't think there's actually that much difference. I mean, obviously they look a lot more fuller, a little bit more fluffier, 
But apart from that, there really isn't that much difference. I mean, I think they're just a little bit more manageable. Like if I brush them in one way, they're more likely to stay there. So now that we are complete with all the different beauty treatments, I'm so excited to finally put some makeup on. I feel like I have a blank canvas and I'm gonna go for something like natural, but still kind of glam. So first up, I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty foundation. I'm just going to add a few squirts of this onto my face. Don't want it to be too heavy or anything. And I'm just gonna take a wet beauty blender and just bounce all that foundation into my skin. I'm then gonna take some of the Fenty Beauty concealer and just apply a few dots of this underneath my eyes. And then again, blend all of that in with my beauty blender. I'm now just gonna set my whole base using the Laura Mercier New Translucent Honey Powder. And then I'm gonna take my Roxy X Revolution Contour and Highlighter Palette and I'm gonna take this shade right here and just use this all over to contour my face and add some definition. I'm then gonna take my Roxy X Revolution Blush Burst Palette and I'm gonna be taking this shade right here on the end. So just add a really nice warm toned orange kind of flush of color to my face, perfect for autumn. I'm then gonna take a combination of these two shades and highlight my face. So I'm just gonna apply that right onto the top of my cheekbone and also with a smaller brush to the very tip of my nose and also slightly down the bridge of the nose. Now for eyeshadow, I'm of course taking my Ride or Die palette. This one is so grubby, but I'm gonna take the shade Pumpkin, again, perfect for autumn, and I'm gonna use this as an all over transition kind of color. I absolutely love a warm toned kind of looks like this, especially around this time of year. So that is literally it for my eyeshadow. I'm only gonna use one shade today, and that was the shade Pumpkin. I just love doing this with an eyeshadow, just putting it through the crease and then leaving it at that. It just adds a really nice warmth and pop of color, but not really doing too much. And now for my lashes, because they are so freaking volumized and upright, I'm just gonna put mascara on. I'm not even gonna bother with eyeliner or lashes today. And the mascara I'm gonna use is the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. Oh my God, they look amazing. I am so happy. My lashes are actually visible without having to curl them. This is literally the best thing I think I've ever done at home. All right, so eyes are now done. The last thing left to do is the lips. So for my lipstick, I'm gonna of course use my all time favorite lipstick so far. And that is my Rock 6 Revolution lipstick in the shade New York. I feel like this lipstick will just complete the whole look. And this is the complete look and transformation. Oh my God, I feel like we have gone a long way. And let me just check the time. This whole transformation has literally taken me all day. It is currently half seven. It has taken me almost all day with some breaks to do this whole thing. And when I tell you beauty is time consuming, it's true. So let's reevaluate. This is the after and this is the before. This is what I looked like this morning. I feel like visually there's not that much difference because I kind of went for a natural look, but I mean visually you can definitely see I've got no peach fuzz on my face, my lashes are lifted, my brows are looking on fleek, and just in general my mental health and my well-being has definitely like skyrocketed just by doing this. As a result of doing everything I did today, I feel way more confident. I feel like I can conquer the day. I feel like I can just just do anything right now. So moral of the story, if you're feeling like you're in a rut or you're not feeling the best about yourself, then just put on a face mask, do your hair nice, wash your hair, treat yourself. It honestly helps and it goes such a long way. Again, I wanna say a massive thank you to Veet for sponsoring this video. I really, really enjoyed it working with them and all the products are definitely amazing and I would highly recommend them. Thanks to Veet, I am literally as smooth as a baby's bottom all over and I'm so happy about it. I will leave the links to all the products that I mentioned in this video down below in the description so make sure you guys check them out but that is all for my transformation i hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next one bye Mwah.